Hello, this is Carlo from Terragon.de and today we want to see how to convert a 3D image. In this uh, example it's a portrait uh, into a 3D image that you can view with um, red and cyan glasses and uh, you want to have a nice 3D effect. So we will try how to do that. In this example you see the portrait and the background is very simple. Um, so I want to add another background like this um, to our image that is a bit more interesting. And uh, we make a layer based 3D image. That means that we want to make the person here into a single layer and the background into a single layer. And then we want to make the person come in front of the computer or in front of the monitor and in front of the background, of course. And we start by selecting the background or selecting the person. And for that, we want to be more or less accurate. This. this. Okay, now we have uh, in general selected the person and we invert our selection, make copy and paste, and now we have our person here on a single layer, and now I can select and copy my background image, paste the background here, make it make the layer behind our person, transform it to the size we need, like this, and now we see, okay, it's not, uh, not very perfect, I will position the person more to the right. You will see later why it's important in this example to place her to the right. And now I want to make a few small optimizations with the hair here. And I try to delete. so that it looks a bit more, more accurate. If you make this later in your image, you can make it better. <laughs> of course. Okay, so now we are done and we want to create a black and white image. So I will bring it down to black and white. We can optimize here a bit. Black and white is um, a bit more easy if you want to create a red cyan picture because if you have black and white you will have no problems that there are red or cyan uh, colors in the image that can destroy the 3D effect. Okay, now it's black and white. And after that we need a second copy of our person here. So we make a duplication of this layer and then we double click our new layer here and change the style, the fill style and we deselect the red channel here and now you have to put on your 3D glasses I will do that now. And then we can move our top layer to the right, uh, to the left. Let's see how much. You have to check it with your glasses. Okay, nice. And now we can see, okay, our person 
jumps out of the computer this time. Maybe a bit like this. And uh, but the problem is that we have this original picture here behind, so we have one person that's coming out of the computer and the other one is staying behind. And to make this a little uh, bit better, we go to the top layer, select the top layer, uh, select everything that is not the person in, person in the top layer and we see this area here is double from the back layer and we switch to the background back layer and simply delete and then the effect is a bit better but you can optimize in your picture um, even more <laughs> and now you can save this picture here as a JPEG or something that you like and then you have a nice 3D effect image. And if you zoom in, you will see a 3D effect. And if you move your head to the left and to the right, you will see that the front layer will move a bit like it's in 3D. Okay, so have fun trying around with that and see you next time.